Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today's video is all about British newspapers. So I don't know if any of you guys read British newspapers. I don't know if you're from the UK. Well, some of you are. But we're just going to do a little overview of the papers that you can find here. Yeah. Um, their political stance and um, what newspapers we read, yeah. if any. Yeah, and just how online's competing with newspapers nowadays. Yeah, we actually had a comment about this from one of our viewers called Maria Jose Reyes. Yeah. Anyway. Maria, thanks for your idea. I don't think anyone else has commented this, so when we saw it, we were like, oh my gosh, that's such an obvious video to do yeah. that we wouldn't think of doing. So her question, her comment was, I'd love to know more about papers. What, what are the popular ones? Yeah. So we've written down a list of mm -hmm. the, the papers that you would find inside a news agent's yeah. um, the most popular newspapers in the UK. Mm -hmm. So should we kick it off? Yeah, let's kick it off. So in total, there are 12 national newspapers in the UK. So we're only talking about the national newspapers. Of course, there are so many local ones. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of, of local papers. papers. Yeah. yeah, love but a good local paper, love I Love a good local paper. But this one is, this video is all about national newspapers. Okay, so the most popular newspaper that I would say all over yeah. is the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail, I think that is probably the most popular paper in the and UK. And although it's probably one of the worst things on the internet and in real life it has such a huge audience yeah so the daily mail is famous for gossip and also just for like making stuff up <laughs> <laughs> it's just no one really knows where it gets its sources from but it's just often skewed and mm. people you often hear celebrities say like the dm it's referred to as the dm daily mail um said this but it's not true. Yeah. Da, da, da. But ironically, it's not seen as trashy as the other tabloids. Like so, the Sun. Like the Sun. The Sun is a gross paper that used to have page three. So it used to have topless women on page three, which was just... I mean, some people have different views on whether it was like very feminist to be like, yeah, here are my boobs. boobs yeah. But I think most people agree that that was page doing was... women a bad service. <laughs> yeah, page three is yeah. died at RIP, page yeah. three. But that, loads of people campaigned against it and it's gone now, luckily. But that paper, they're called the Red Tops because they all have like red with right writing. So the sun, the mirror, the star. The star. Um... Yeah, just anything the that those ones the star the express all yeah pretty trashy. all terrible and trashy so the daily mail isn't as trashy as that they do cover real news items that those yeah. ones don't but they just yeah they put a, they're very sort of right wing yeah so they have a very skewed newspaper so if you're right wing like it's perfect paper for you <laughs> but if you're not like i tend to think a newspaper shouldn't really have any political affiliation it's really hard for them not to yeah, they just end up difficult. and even if they don't their viewers choose it for them they yeah. go oh we find that most of our viewers are tend this yeah and most of our viewers live in london and they do this and they're in creative industries therefore that newspaper has become left yeah so no, it's like no, it's, it's really true. hard it's difficult but then also i think lots of them their funding the people that own them yeah. It's their political affi affiliation. Absolutely, yeah. They have mates that are in the government and they're like, oh, I want to get my friend in, in yeah. power there. So yeah. I know it's all corrupt. It's all very corrupt. But um, moving on. So yeah, we've mentioned the Daily Mail. We've mentioned the Red Tops. Uh, mm -hmm. The Red Tops. And these all come under the sort of heading of tabloids. Mm -hmm. And then you've got broadsheets. So broadsheets are newspapers that actually were once much bigger. Yeah. And impractical to use. Impractical to <laughs> Why use. Why would you have a massive paper? Yeah, yeah. really funny. Um, although, great for posture. Yeah, great for posture. Because you have to open you out, out your back. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. And newspapers that fall under the category of broadsheets, which are now a lot smaller. Yeah, they? <laughs> they're all normal size now. Like, yeah. I don't know what that is. but Or just, they're online and people pay yeah. for subscriptions for them now. Yeah, yeah. These sorts of um, newspapers are The Guardian, The mm -hmm. Observer, The Independent, yeah. The Times, yeah. The Telegraph, they're all broadsheets, even though they're not anymore, but that's what we call them. And they tend to be uh, sort of newspapers for people who like news and they, they're they a bit more serious. So, for example, I wouldn't read the Daily Telegraph or the Times. It's a bit too wordy. Yeah. And, um, yeah, whereas I would read something like The Guardian. I think The Guardian I is, think it's written for an audience like us. Yeah, it's creatives, arty, like... It's not all arty news, it's sort yeah. of global news, but there's a lot of cultural spin on those sorts of things. Lots of opinion pieces, which I like. Yeah. 
And it's also worth mentioning that although most new newspapers do take into consideration world news, obviously their focus is British mm-hmm. news in, in the UK. Yeah. Um, I think it's very rare that we hear about worldly events unless they're tragic, yeah. unless a British person has been involved mm-hmm. or it has like, you know, died somewhere else yeah. in some sort of major event. Um, because often, you know, you hear, you'll hear about something and then you'll go on Twitter and then people say, oh, meanwhile in insert country here. Yeah. And then, then, you know, people yeah, go yeah. mental and you go, oh God, you know what? It's not that we're deluded and we don't know that things are going on on the other side of the world. It's just that our newspapers just choose not to give us that information mm. on the front page or like, they don't put that in our face. Yeah. And neither does like the news on TV unless it's tragic. Yeah. So in terms of political affiliation with uh, the broadsheets, if you are sort of right leaning, then you would want the Telegraph or the Times. Yeah. yeah. And if you're sort of left wing, centre left wing, then uh, the Guardian might be a nice paper for you. The Independent is very left. Yeah, very left. Um, and another sort of central left-wing paper would be the Observer. Mm-hmm. And what about prices of these newspapers? So prices, newspapers have always been really cheap. So you got the tabloids starting at like thirty-five p. Yeah. Um, thirty-five pence. Mm-hmm. So if you want to watch our currency video, we'll link that <laughs> up in the cards. Um, <laughs> pence. Yeah. So it's cheaper than a pound. Um, yeah. And then you got sort of. Broadsheets yeah. going up to like, is it 150, 140? Yeah. And I think at the weekend they might be like 180 because they often have supplements in there. Oh, nice. Mm. Supplements. Supplements. I love, love a good a weekend supplement. supplement. Oh, yeah, like a little cooking thing. Or... Yeah, or like just a little insert. Insert of a magazine edition or yeah. like, yeah, it's so love good. Love that. And um, then obviously you've got the free London papers as yeah. well. So mm-hmm. um, every Tuesday, oh, I suppose, we, are we including magazines in this video? Newspapers and magazines. Every day you've got the Metro. Yeah. And I believe that's in uh, lots of big cities as well. Yeah. Obviously we're calling it a free London paper because we live here. But yeah. in, in big cities you'll, you'll find the Metro. And then we've got the Evening Standard which just comes out at like five p- 4 or 5pm yeah. when you're getting on the tube in the evening. So for commuters it's great. You've got the Metro in the morning, the Evening, evening Standard, Standard in the evening. evening. And often, you know, not often, sometimes there are days when there's been a big event in the evening and a big event. Yeah. In, in the next day, so whilst you've been in your office, yeah. So there's loads going on, and they they, they work like crazy yeah. to print all these papers. Crazy. So, so if yeah. you're a tourist here and you see people giving out newspapers, don't be afraid to take one. It is free. They're not going to like rope you into talking to them. Yeah, they are free newspapers. Point. Um, yeah. And same with um, Time Out magazine. That's free. Yeah. And that's fantastic. There's so yeah. much good stuff. In Shortlist Time Out. magazine. Shortlist they're often giving good. out. And my favourite, The Stylist. On the a stylist, Tuesday, yeah. you can get a free copy of The Stylist outside most tube stations, big, busy yeah. places. And that's sort of like a women's um, fashion, lifestyle, beauty, just a sort of a magazine targeted at women that yeah. men can read it as well. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, all free. Yeah. I love definitely. it. It's great. And, ha- and quite highly regarded as well. Yeah. People oh. are just like, don't turn their nose up at The Stylist or Time Out. Or oh, no. Shortlist. The Stylist, I've got friends that are like, really want to get their hands on the stylist and yeah. they when they run out they're devastated because they're like I need the stylist yeah so the it, stylist they are good. seen quite highly yeah yeah so in terms of the stereotypes of tabloids and broadsheets and I say stereotype very you know pointedly this is a stereotype but it tends to be the working classes are associated more with the tabloids whereas the middle classes are associated more with the broadsheets Yeah, so that's also, I guess, a little bit reflected in the price Mm -hmm. since the tabloids are priced a a lot cheaper than the the broadsheet papers. But, you know, again, this is stereotype and you'll often, Mm. you'll find people read whatever they want to read and um, people just choose to, you know, read a bit of everything nowadays. It's not like there's a newspaper coming through your door and that's the only information you receive. That that was once the way things were. Yeah. You know, you'd get a newspaper round in the morning and And that would be your information and that would be what you know about the world and that'd be your take and that's how you absorb information. And that is also part of the routine of Brits. I think it's a very British thing that you'd walk to the shops, the co- your local corner shop, and pick up your paper and walk back home. And yeah. I just don't think that's a thing in America. No. Maybe in sort of middle America in a small little village or and town. Perhaps, yeah. But 
I think from my experience of being in America, you obviously have to drive everywhere. So I think maybe it is quite a British thing that my granddad every morning walks to the shops to pick up his newspaper and go home really early in the morning. Really early. And no one lives too far away from a corner shop. No. You can always get to a corner shop in like three or four minutes walk. No matter where you... You can always walk somewhere like five minutes. I think that's what I'd miss about that tradition because now we're moving more online. And um, I think you I you miss the corner shops. Well, the, yeah, like walking to the shops and get like not that I miss it because I've never yeah. done it, but it's something that I would like to think when I'm old, I just walk to the shops, pick up my paper, and go home. People would would walk and get their bread, milk, yeah. eggs, and paper. Yeah, that would be like the, the top things that the news agents would yeah. have. They make sure they've got the essentials. Well, yeah, milk okay. used to be from the milkman, but that's not anymore either. No. But uh, that's all going. It's all going. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think um, with the internet now and with things like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, there's so many news outlets. Something just happened today in London. We noticed that people had marked themselves as safe online. Don't know yeah, if you've seen this on feature. Facebook. And um, we quickly went on Twitter Live because they have the like live streaming so you can see what's going on. We saw footage of what had happened. And um, isn't that isn't that amazing that you can now? Yeah. We don't have a television. No. You know, we're not just like quick switch the news on. Oh, we're gonna have to wait for well, the news cards. Yeah. Just like in an instant, we go on a website where we mm. know there's gonna be a live stream of the event. We can see video footage of it in five seconds. We've received yeah. the information and then we're done and we're out. It's so weird. whereas back in the day, even without news on telly, they yeah. used to have to wait till the next day to read about it in the paper. Yeah. But we've within the space of thirty seconds, we've been online, looked at it, seen footage of the explosion, and. We're like, <laughs> made oh, okay, up our own cool. minds about it yeah. and decided that actually it was quite a small explosion quite a small explosion that they were making really a big deal did about did not have to mark themselves as safe yeah like, they were like oh so so safe from the explosion we were like oh my gosh what's it happened like a little firework it was going literally off. a bomb fight it was just like poof yeah, and we were like it's a tiny Come on. little thing um, yeah. I'm probably going to get a bit of backlash for that yeah. but um, it was yeah, are we the only people that think that the marking self as safe thing is sometimes a little bit cringe on Facebook? If there's something major, then yes, mark yeah. self safe. Mm-hmm. I marked myself as safe in the London terrorist attack. Yeah, like because I was West... in London Bridge when it happened. Yeah, and you live in London. If you've got family that live anywhere else, they don't know the difference between you being in Camden or being in West, London yeah, Bridge exactly. like this. It's different. Yeah. yeah. But some of, sometimes it does make me eye roll a little bit yeah. when people who live nowhere near have marked themselves as safe. <laughs> anyway, what I digress. That's a sideline. As I digress. Um, but thanks for watching this video. I think that's it. We better shut up because, you know, yeah. this will be more boring than actually reading a newspaper. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> that's why we've worn monochrome. Black, black and white. Black and white. I don't know if anyone knows about all the stuff and effort we put into this these videos <laughs> it was black actually just a and white, black and white newspapers yeah bing bam boom interact yeah. with the cards please yes yeah. let us know do you still read newspapers at all yes or no there's a poll going on up there uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already we post videos every single week all about british stuff so if you're interested click subscribe and click the bell next to it as well anyone who's been here a while will know that we are now uploading three times a week and that's only been possible through coffee donations so thank you so much to everybody who's bought us a coffee it is so it's really yeah. really helping and we hope we can c- carry on bringing content to you as many times a week as we can and the link to donating is in the top line of the comments yeah and if you are interested in anything that we're wearing in this video it ah, feels so cringe. so cringe we get so many comments all the time about yeah. where did you get this from where did you get this from so we're like look we're just gonna start like start linking links. where we get stuff from so you might think this t-shirt is hideous that's fine but yeah. if you are interested the link is down below the you same you might think this is hideous because i haven't ironed it but <laughs> i don't have time to iron because i'm making youtube videos okay okay so um, yeah you can go back through our videos as well if there's something that we wore back like three weeks ago that you liked we've probably inserted the links you know to those so. likely i mean we're not a lifestyle channel no. but you know we do get questions and it's just it's making it easier to answer them by putting it in the description yeah. so yeah thank you so much and we'll see you next time see you soon bye, bye. i don't think i've read a newspaper since 2012 yeah except Actually, for at the dentist oh yeah i love picking one up at the dentist yeah yeah we need to do one on magazines don't we yeah let us know if we should do one on magazines great british magazines, magazines.